coral reefs are among the most diverse ecosystems on the planet, home to a vast array of marine life. Unfortunately, they're also among the most threatened, with climate change, pollution and overfishing significantly affecting their health and resilience. Scientists have documented the loss of living coral and species diversity across most of our oceans at unprecedented rates over the past two decades. But there are some glimmers of hope. Scientists and conservationists from the remote island nations of Micronesia have been gathering critical data on the abundance, composition and sizes of corals and fish for over a decade to help manage the stress placed on coral reefs. Thanks to the Micronesia Coral Reef Monitoring Network new online app, these data are now at the fingertips of local, regional and global stakeholders. Immediate access to status and trends are now informing conservation efforts and helping management evolve. Data is essential to solving the problems that we face. Uh, and so just like everything else, um, data surrounding coral reefs is an evolving kind of thing. This interaction with Epsilon and, and some of these other folks uh, allowed me to be expressive in what I know, which is the analytics behind uh, data sharing and what these uh, communities and islands need. So I was able to create the data views, if you will, uh, and they were able to integrate them and make them look wonderful. Uh, and now we have an automated process uh, that works not for one island or two islands, uh, but for all of the, the 20 to 30 islands and atolls that we work with. That app really helps everyone, especially local communities in islands like uh, where we are in Micronesia. It makes it for, uh, easier for everyone to interpret the data and then really guide uh, management into the future. The reef monitoring app shows information on the number and types of fish and other organisms which inhabit certain sites. It also allows users to look at changes over time and compare the results with other locations. It's a really helpful tool for us. It, it alleviates the, the challenges and the issues that we face when it comes to analysis of the data that we've been collecting over and numerous years. Reefs are complex ecosystems with a wide variety of organisms and interactions between them. So how do you monitor them in a region which spans almost 6.7 million square kilometres of water, an area nearly equal to the continental United States? We've streamlined this whole thing out. We can survey uh, an island for, let's say, an incentive two-week period, and we can have results within a week or two after that, if not immediately. Personally, I will tell you that it has increased the efficiency by 75%. Advancing technology like this or this app, it, it's, it really makes the, uh, our jobs a whole lot easier at the community level. Reefs are also crucial for the survival of local people. That's why the leaders of Micronesia have made a bold commitment to effectively manage at least 50% of their local marine resources by 2050, setting up a Micronesia challenge. Micronesia Reef Monitoring Network was started in the year 2006 with a, a conservation movement that was championed by the political leaders of Micronesia. That's cool. So uh, they put a top-down effort and signed a challenge to conserve 30% of their reefs at the time. And um, that led to us getting together as a group we have enough money to build infrastructure such as this platform, and we could all benefit from the real-time feedbacks. As temperatures continue to rise, additional degradation of coral reefs will inevitably occur. But as we learn more and more about the reefs, we can create solutions to increase their resistance and support recovery. Tools like Micronesia Reef Monitoring App might help us save them before it's too late.